We often hear that I don't want it in my house or around me because foam is toxic. Well, I hope you realize that the car environment, the automobile, is full of foam. The cushioning that you're sitting on right now is probably polyurethane foam. We lay our heads at night in pillows made with polyurethane foam. The mattresses of most of the beds these days, that soft compressible foam material, that's polyurethane foam. Carpet underlayment. So every time we put our feet on our carpets, we're putting it on polyurethane foam. One of the first uses that addresses or looks at or flies in the face of toxicity is it was used as the heart valves in the Jarvik 7 prosthetic hearts. That's inside your body in direct contact uh, with the inside of your body. So not very toxic, I think. But always remember that cured foam is fully inert. It's completely cured. So it's not doing anything. It's not changing. You can't drive the reaction in reverse, which is important, but it's finished its off-gassing. And we'll get into off-gassing here in a, a little bit, but it's completely inert between 48 and 72 hours later. To help you understand a little bit more about spray foam and to help you integrate it into your operation, I've created educational courses on my website at Let's Talk P-U-R Com. or you can click on the link in the video description. I encourage you to check them out. I'll see you there.